My name is Patty Dubroff. I'm a makeup artist living between New York and Los Angeles. And today I am here to show you my two new kits from Beauty Pie. Um, not sure if you remember, but I did a kit in the spring. It sold out quite fast, so I hope you got it. Um, I'm really excited to show you the two new ones, which are coming out just in time for holiday. I've created two exclusive kits the smoky kit and the red carpet kit. Red carpet kit has a red lip, softer eye, and the smoky kit has a smoky shadow and a softer lip. Okay, within the smoky kit, we have, first up, smoky eyeshadow. So this eyeshadow quad has four shades, a dark black, a sparkling silvery pewter, uh, a softer gray tone, kind of a dovey gray, and a bone tone. And then to help with the smoky eye in the smoky kit, a dark gray eye pencil, water resistant. Love this pencil, you can use it on the waterline. Everyone's favorite, black mascara, uber volume. This one, bringing it back, if you had the first kit that I did in the spring, this mascara was there, perennial favorite. Also bringing back from the spring kit is highlighting stick. This is the color Moonbeam. Great for highlighting the tops of the cheekbones, all the kind of bones that you want to pop out. I'll show you some tricks with that. And last, oh not last but not least, yep, a brush. Yes, perfect brush, double-sided to make that smoky eye. And this isn't just an eyeshadow brush. Just want to say, I'm going to use it for eyeshadow now, but I have some other ways I like to use this brush. And last but not least is the nude lip balm. The perfect tinted nude lip balm. So I created the smoky quad because like literally everyone can use a smoky eyeshadow quad. It's really, even if you have small eyes, even if you have hooded eyes, you can wear a bolder, darker, smokier eyeshadow. Um, it's really universal, it's timeless, it's seasonless, it's like a forever piece. So I'm gonna show you my steps to do a, a smoky eye look on Fatima. Now the, the steps that I'm doing are specific for her eye shape, um, but I'll talk you through some ideas so you can make it work for your eye shape. Okay. First step, I'm gonna use a smoky quartz eye pencil and I'm gonna use this to give a little bit of definition around the corners of the eye, and then I'm gonna blend it out. Now, because, you know, as I said, this is smoky, a smoky kit, I'm gonna go for the smokiness of it. So I'm gonna put the pencil along the waterline and along the bottom lash line. And I'm gonna have you blink a lot. Blink, blink, blink. Don't be afraid to blink. You wanna move it around because then what kind of bleeds or falls is what you're gonna to use to blend, okay? It's my favorite tick. When you put uh, darker pencils on the waterline to blink and smudge and squish your face around. And then again, that gives you like the perfect kind of movement for the pencil. Okay, so I'm focusing on the corner right now and I'm elongating the lash line. And give another blend, another blink. Blink and blend, blink and blend. Now I'm gonna take the pencil and I'm gonna draw it along the top lash line at the outer, I think about the outer third. So I wanna give like a little bit of an elongated feeling. And then I'm gonna take that pencil and I'm gonna draw it up around into the crease. See that? Kind of creating, close your eye. Creating kind of like a frame for where the rest of the shadows are gonna go. And I'm using the, so, the small end of the brush for doing the pencil detail work. So I'm framing the eye with the pencil and I'm gonna always have, this is a big important tip, always have your foundation, concealer, brush, you know, whatever you've used to, you know, make your skin kind of more even and perfect, have that around because that's gonna be your friend while you're creating a smoky eye. Um, another tip, don't powder 
before you do a smoky eye. Because if, it, if any eyeshadow dribbles or any, if you make a mistake, you wanna have things pliable so you can move it around. And speaking of powder, less is more. Especially as you're, you mature, you need less powder. Okay, so I have my foundation brush. There's a little bit of leftover concealer on here. And as I'm going around, I'm gonna make sure that I'm happy with the pencil placement. So I'm gonna apply and then I'm gonna clean up and I'm gonna go back and forth with that application cleaning up. So um, I'm not gonna wait till the end to clean everything up. I'm gonna clean up as I go. So in cleaning up, it's just I wanna make sure that the pencil's not too low, that the wing has a nice kind of shape. Okay, now I'm gonna get into applying some eyeshadow on top of that pencil. I'm gonna go right for the darkest of the smoky shades, the black. And I'm gonna put a bit of that on the small end of the brush. If you have another one of these brushes, even better, because then you can you know, use one for pencil and one for shadow. But if you don't, you can go back and forth. Just make sure to clean your brushes. So important, keep those brushes clean. So exactly where the pencil went is where the darkest shadow is going to go. So that pencil was actually like giving me the um, placement groundwork for where the dark shadow is going. Also that pencil is going to help hold the dark eye shadow. So you're going to have less smudges. And I'm not, you know, don't be afraid to get your fingers in the mix when you're blending. I like to soften edges with my fingertip. Okay, close your eye. So just because this is called a smoky kit, smoky eye kit, doesn't mean I'm gonna do dark all the way around. I'm gonna be strategic and place the dark where I want it. So for Fatima, I want the darkness really at the outer corner so that I get that kind of elongation. I don't want to put a lot of darkness on her actual lid. If you have hooded eyes, you don't want to keep the hood open. You actually want to darken that hood because that's going to push that hood back and it will open your eye ultimately. So I'm still using that matte black shade and I'm strategically placing it where the pencil went. And then on the, with the other side of the brush, I'm using that. There's nothing on there right now, just to make sure that it's soft and blended. Now I'm gonna go in with that uh, other side of the brush, the bigger side. I'm going to take the bone shade, the lightest shade. Tap it off so you don't get that on the face. I love that these eyeshadows are so almost creamy um, so that they, they really kind of like stick and hold and blend very well. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that bone shade and I'm gonna place that on the inner corner of the eye. Now again, this is for Fatima's shape because I really wanna go with that elongation. If your eyes are very wide and open, you might put that spot of light on the center of the lid. Um, if you have a hooded eye, you're not gonna put any of the light on your lid at all. You're gonna maybe keep the, the light tones near your brow bone. Now, next I'm gonna take this uh, matte shade, the other matte shade, it's number six. And I'm gonna place that on the lid, more at the outer corner, outer portion of the lid and the center. Center and outer meeting up, it's meeting up with the black in the, and the center of the lid. So the final eyeshadow step, I'm going to use shade number seven, which is the one that has the sparkle, and I'm going to put that on the center of the lid for Fatima's eyes. Make sure you tap shadow off your brush. Really important, you don't want that on your face. So you put a little on your brush, and then you give it a little tap tap. And when you're applying, close your eye. I really like to tap the shadow in, especially when it's sparkly shadows, because that helps them grab. 
So I'd say when I'm using a matte shadow, I would use more of a sweeping motion. When I'm using a shadow that has some shimmer, sparkle, I'm going to tap it. I'm gonna add a little more shine because that's really what amps this up and makes this really festive and not flat. Okay. Got my foundation brush to clean things up. If those sparkles fall, you just want to kind of wipe them away. You want to keep the sparkles really specific where the placement is. And that's where you want to add more glimmers of light. All right, I'm going to ask Fatima to do her mascara. This is Uber Volume Black. So may I ask you yeah, to do it? Love this Uber Volume Boost Black Mascara. And when I do, when doing a smoky eye and when you have some depth, you can also put some mascara also on the bottom lashes if there's some depth. When, when an eye hat is more clean, mascara on the bottom can look a little spidery. So I like to save bottom lash mascara for when it's a smoky, dark frame. So with Soft Moonlight Highlighter, it's great just straight out of the, straight out of the tube on the tops of the cheekbones or tapped on the tops of the cheekbones. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Also, a little tiny bit under the brow bone, but really delicate. You don't want it to look like frosting there. Really delicate will help kind of like open the eye space uh, under the brow. I love also to use a touch of this highlighter, close your eye, right on the center of the lid. And yes, it can be on top of eyeshadow, that's fine. It's just gonna add a really nice glow. It's also really nice to take a bit of the highlighter on your fingers and then make sure that any exposed bones get a little extra love, a little extra glow. It's even nice, a little bit on the bow. In the Smoky Kit, the lip is called West Coast Nude. It doesn't deposit a ton of color. It just kind of evens out the lip, adds shine, you know, when you're doing a smoky eye, you don't want to pull the focus away onto the lip. So that's why for the lip, I chose something that was like really like almost nothing, but like better than nothing. Oh, it's such a good color. Another thing I like to do with the lip balm. I mean, yeah, it says lip balm, but I love it on the cheeks because it's just that sheer glowy, nothing something. I always love things that are kind of like nothing, but there's something. So I work on a lot of clients for red carpets. So I know what, you know, a red carpet need is. What does a red carpet need? What is a red carpet kit? A red carpet kit is something that kind of elevates your look but is classic and forever, in my opinion. That's the perfect red carpet look. So within the red carpet kit, we have, may I ask you to hold this? Yes. Thank you. The perfect red lip, first off. Highlighting stick. This is a new shade exclusive to this kit. Um, it's only here. This color is called Glazy Light. It's like a rose gold, really pretty, exclusive to this kit. Mascara, uber mascara, uber volume mascara, but in brown, a dark, beautiful, rich, sable brown. Back, this is very highly requested, back in stock. This was from my kit that was, came out in the spring. Perfect bone tone pencil to help the eye look more open. This is bright eyed pencil, helps the eye look more right eyed eyeshadow brush two sides and I'm gonna use this for lips and the eyeshadow palette is in soft warmer brown tones because this is really the focus is really about the lip the eye is going to be structured and elevated but not overpowering all right let's do it we're gonna do a red lip red carpet look I'm going to use something that's not in the kit. So I'm starting with something that you hopefully have at home or you can find, um, lip pencil. 
so the lip tone, the red, it's an incredibly bold, vibrant red. I like to frame a red with something that's a little bit more kind of natural, that grounds it a little bit. So I'm going to use a kind of a dark brown pencil. This color is called chai. I love chai. Of course, it's called chai. I'm going to use chai pencil and the red. Now, if your skin is not as kind of warm tone as Millie's, maybe you're going to use a soft red lip pencil or even like um, a dark nude pencil. Something that's going to help you kind of frame the red. You know, for red carpet, I never will use just one lipstick. It's always a multitude of shades and tones to help sculpt the lip, to help with staying power, but also to help kind of like, kind of give some depth and interest to the lip. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna first make sure that there's some lip balm. This is not in the kit. Take your lip balm, make sure your lips have a little bit of hydration. Super important that it's not too hydrated. You don't want them slick and slipping. You don't want things slipping all over the place. So a little bit of lip balm, and I'm taking what's left on the concealer brush, and I'm gonna use that just to not blank out the lips, but just kind of soften the edges of the lips. Now I'm gonna go in with the red, first up, and I'm only gonna put that in the center. I saw a trick on TikTok where someone drew an absolute oval in the center of their lips. I thought it was kind of a good idea. This is a riff off of that, but not exactly so precise. So I'm putting the red tone only in the center, and then I want you to mush that around. Mm, mush, mush, mush. Mush and blend. Yeah, great. Now I'm gonna take my clean finger to blend that softly towards the corners. Now you notice I did not, I did not put the red all the way around. I didn't put it in the corners. Avoid red in the corners. It can be very messy, it can be very tricky, it can be very Joker-like. So the red is really the centerpiece. Next up, I'm gonna use this chai lip pencil. Now here, I'm going to frame the red. So I started at the bow and I'm working towards the outer corner. I'm going to be a little bit more generous with the pencil in the, with the new, the neutral pet tone pencil on the corners. And this is also a way that you can contour your lips. You know, it's a contoured shaped lip. So by giving that depth and darkness on the outer corners and the edges, you're letting the kind of brightness blossom from the center. So to apply the lip pencil, I'm using like kind of like little short dashes, sometimes longer strokes, but it's really like shorter little um, specific little application dashes. Oops, that looks a little... And I'm always having that concealer brush around because even as I'm going, if I don't like something that I place, I want to clean it up right away. Focusing on the corners, the frame of the lip, I'm going to take my brush. Yes, it's an eyeshadow brush, but I use it for everything. And I'm going to use the smaller side to blend out the pencil a little bit. Star of the show, this is a velvety lip crayon. And the texture, it really, it really is velvet. Look at that. It's got an amazing bright brightness to it. I'd call it like a, like a cherry red. Bright velvet cherry red. Really great staying power. No shine at all, which I love. It looks really luscious, it's really expensive. And I'm taking the other side of that brush and I'm just softly diffusing that into the center. I might even take a little bit more of the velvet, velvety tone onto the brush, open a bit, and I'm gonna just pat that onto the lip. 
So this is a red lip that will stick around and stay because the layers are fine. The pencil has a good staying power and it's not a lot of waxy things. Waxy things move around. This doesn't have a lot of waxy things, so it's gonna stay put. Joe is on, the lip is on. Now I'm gonna get into doing like a soft wash of the eye. We really don't wanna add too much other makeup because we want all the focus to be on that beautiful bold lip. So first up, I'm gonna use the Bright Ed pencil. Look all the way up. And I'm gonna give this a little bit of a dash on the inner waterline. I really like to focus this bright eyed pencil on the waterline and also on the inner corner. Really opens up the eye. So I put a little of the pencil on the waterline and now I'm gonna blend it so that it is not too concentrated. You don't want it to look too dense and concentrated. You want it to be just a wash of bone. So for the eyeshadow, I'm going to focus with the shade that's called number one, the camel tone. Close your eye. And I'm just gonna give a light wash of this straight across the lid. And then I'm gonna take the shade that's number two, that has the shimmer. And you don't have to use all shades all the time, by the way. Just because a palette has four colors in it, don't use all four or use all four. Like it's whatever goes. I, sometimes it's just one shade of the day. And then some days you're like, you want to do something that has more depth and interest. So, you know, it's really about like creativity, what's right for the day. Also, another thing is just because it's a red carpet or a special event doesn't mean you have to do all the things. Um, there is something nice to like that kind of like French je ne sais quoi, red lip and nothing else kind of a vibe. You know, you can think about that in terms of your special event, red carpet, your party look, whatever. And I'm going to do that right on the center of the lid just for a little bit of a pop really light and I'll brush a little bit of that up into the brow why not we'll add a little sparkle there and then I'm not going to use the dark shadows now today but if I was no actually I will I'll use a little bit of the brown because I want to show you I'm going to take a little bit of this matte brown shadow this is the number four on the small end of the brush I'm kind of pushing and pressing it in there and then I'm going to remember tap 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 you don't want to get that eyeshadow around the eyes where you don't want it. And I'm gonna use this as a soft liner. Close your eye. So instead of using a harsh liner or a pencil, I'm gonna use a soft shadow to give the lashes a little bit of extra volume and um, a little bit of a lift at the corner without it being a hard line. Open. Really subtle. Got my concealer brush. I'm gonna make sure everything's where I want it. And then a wash of mascara, Uber Volume, and this one's brown. May I ask you to put this on? Yeah. There you go. Just on the upper lashes, please. Yeah. Nothing on the bottom, because the bottom is so clean. We want to keep it clean. Yeah, you could really get close to the root of the so lash. Good. Yeah. So the brown mascara, you know, you're going to have a softer effect. Um, unless you're very fair. If you're very, very fair and blonde, this is your dark, your dark tone. But if you have darker hair, darker tones, this is just gonna be like a soft wash just to help open the eye. Um, and then the highlight stick. So this highlight stick is exclusive to this kit. And I really love playing with the highlighting stick um, in multiple places on the face, on the body. What I like to do is I like to put some on my hand, right? And then take a little bit of a favorite moisturizer, Super Healthy Skin. And I'm gonna put a little dab of that right there into it, next to it. With my fingertip, give it a blend. So now I've got like a highlighting cream, which is really beautiful for adding to the body. 
get a little bit more on there. Really nice to like pick up like the highlights of the of um, bones that pop out. So I'm going to use this on the tops of the cheekbones. Can even go down the bridge of the nose. Close your eyes. I love it on the lid. Look at that. How it just really like heightened that glossy lid effect. into the brow even. And then if you want to take the, um, the highlighter on its own, you can build a little extra highlight on the tops of the cheekbone. If your skin is, um, has some texture or if it has some fine lines, you want to be careful with shimmers not being too thick and too concentrated. That's why I really like the, the trick with adding some moisturizer and cream because you disperse the, um, the shimmery particles so they don't get really concentrated. Um, you don't want to add too much dense shimmer around little crinkle lines because it'll make them look, look kind of more prevalent. Um, I think that's it. That's all the things from the kit. Let's do a little bit more red lip because you can never do too much red lip. And I'm really, again, I'm focusing that velvety red tone on the center, center of the lid. Sorry, center, center of the lip. And really giving the pop of that cherry, pop of that cherry red, really flowering out of the middle. Uh, one more great tip when you're doing a lip, a red lip, you know, people want to do like very harsh lines, strong lines, bold lines, um, definite lines for the red. I really like a red that has that definition, but that there's also something kind of soft and diffused about it. So I'll always take my concealer brush and kind of swipe it along the edge just to cut the harshness of any lines. There she is, red carpet ready. I hope you enjoyed watching and following along as much as I enjoyed painting and creating for you. If you don't have your kit already, you know where to go. Head over to Beauty Pie and they're exclusive and limited. And uh, once they're gone, they're gone. So I hope you get your hands on some. Might be a great gift for your friends too, who love makeup. Thank you.